The topic of this video is Mathematical Models Building Function. This video is a continuation of the previous videos. Alright, so we're still working on this same problem. Let p equal the point x comma y be a point on the function y equals the square root of x. Express the distance d from p to 1.75 comma 0 as a function of x. Okay, so we did that and we got our answer. d of x is equal to the square root of x squared minus 2.5x plus 3.0625. We're now ready to move on to the next part of the problem, which says, what is d if x equals 0? What is d if x equals 1? Once again, I'm going to present this to you in two different ways. First, the scale, then the concept. Both are important. Okay, first, the scale. Well, what they're really asking you to do is, now that you've created your function, d of x, evaluate it for x equals 0. Or, said another way, just put 0 here, here, and here, and it'll tell you the distance when x equals 0. So we get d of 0 is equal to the square root of 0 squared minus 2.5 times 0 plus 3.0625. Well, if you think about it, 0 squared is 0, 2.5 times 0 is 0, so all of this over here is just 0. And then when you add 3.0625, that's what you're going to have under your radical. So we're looking for the square root of 3.0625. So let's pick up our calculators and ask, what is the square root of 3.0625? And we get the result, 1.75. So d of 0 equals 1.75. That's the scale. When the point on the square root function that is selected has an x-coordinate of 0, then the distance from that point to the point 1.75 comma 0 will be 1.75. Now let's turn our attention to the concept. I've kind of already started talking about it. So we've been told x is 0. So that means that this right here is the very specific point on the square root function that we're talking about. This is the only point on the square root function that is an x-coordinate of 0. And what we want to know is how far is it from that point to the point 1.75 comma 0. Well, this is very easy to measure. These are both points that are sitting right on top of the x-axis. If you want to know how far apart they are, just subtract. So the x-coordinate here is 1.75. The x-coordinate here is 0. Subtract 1.75 minus 0 is 1.75. So we see that it works. This function that we created in an earlier video can now be used to predict distances. OK, let's try it again with 1. So similar idea. But instead of replacing all the x's with 0, we're going to replace all the x's with 1. So we'll have 1 squared minus 2.5 times 1 plus 3.0625. So this is going to give us 1 minus 2.5 plus 3.0625, then take the square root. All right, so calculator time. 1 minus 2.5 plus... 3.0625 is 1.5625, 1.5625. And then we have to take the square root of that, and the square root of 1.0625, excuse me, I apologize, 1.5625 is 1.25. That's D of 1. Okay, that's the skill. The skill got us to an answer. The skill got us to an answer. But what are we doing, and why do we care? Okay, so now let's turn our attention to the concept. So now they're telling us that the point on our square root function is the point where it, the x-coordinate is 1. So that would be this function point right here. This is the only point on the square root function that is an x-coordinate of 1. And what we're trying to figure out is, how far apart are these two points? Well, that's a little harder this time than it was last time. But if we create a triangle from this point down to this point, we can use the Pythagorean theorem in order to figure out what the distance is. So for example, we know that this right here, the base of our triangle, the corner, the right angle of our triangle, is at 1 on the number line and this is at 1.75. So if this is at 1 and this is 1.75, we can figure out how far this is by subtraction. 1.75 minus 1 is 
0.75. So this distance is 0 0.75. This point is sitting on the x-axis at a y of 0. This point has a y of 1. So this distance is 1 minus 0, which is 1. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this distance. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we get 0.75 squared plus 1 squared equals c squared. 0.75 squared is 0 0.5625 plus 1 equals c squared. So 1.5625 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides, which will tell you c. We need to know the square root of 1.5625, and we get 1.25. So we've used a concept and a little bit of geometry to be able to come up with the answer. And it once again proves that this formula that we created using algebra so that we could program a computer to do our job is a valid formula. It works, and that's very, very powerful to be able to do in the real world. That is why it's important to build your own functions.